violence that began on Sunday over the Citizenship Amendment Act in Northeast Delhi has killed 42 people and the Delhi police finally seems to have sprung into action as a vegan and extensive prop, a media report said. That toll in the Delhi violence jumped to 42 with the health department confirming four more deaths on Friday. The toll was 38 till Thursday and among them are an intelligence bureau Jawan and a Delhi police head constable. A team of Thobal District Commando arrested a drug peddlers along with 4,000 pieces of WY tablets and 36 grams of heroin from Wangjing near YK College last evening at around 9. According to a report, the arrested has been identified as 21-year-old Haikrizam Punsiva Singh, son of Lad Haid Samungok Singh of Kongjom, Sangai Kong. One person has been killed in classes between Kasi Students Union members and non-tribals during a meeting on Citizenship Amendment Act and inner land permit in Meghalaya's East Kasi Hills after which mobile internet services have been suspended in six districts East Zantia Hills, West Zantia Hills, East Kasi Hills, Rai Boy, West Kasi Hills and Southwest Kasi Hills of the state since last night for 48 hours. However, curfew imposed in Silong yesterday has been lifted until further orders, according to a statement by Meghalaya state government statement this morning. At least 20 people were killed and over 60 others injured after a passenger train collided with a bus in Pakistan's Sindh province on Friday, according to a media report. The incident took place near the Rory railway station in Sukur city. A farmer's meet reviewed the present condition of Loktak Leaf irrigation project. The meet was held at the residence of N. Sana Zawbu Singh, CI College Road, Vishnupur District yesterday. An association called Loktak Irrigation Development Farmers Association was formed during the meet. The budget session of Assam Legislative Assembly will begin from Monday next and Finance Minister Himanto Biswa Sarma will travel the state budget on 6th of March, according to a report. This will be the Sarvananda Sonowal-led government's last full-fledged budget. The budget session's calendar was revised as there will be elections for three Rajya Sabha in the state on March 26 next, the report said. Major Cherry Blossom festivals in Japan have been cancelled due to the deadly new coronavirus, the latest in a growing list of events squashed as the epidemic spreads globally. The traditional spring celebrations in Tokyo and Osaka, which attract Millions of people wanting to see the white and pink flowers will not go ahead as planned in April, as per media report. Anis Ahmad, a final year student of master's degree in geography in Manipur University, Kanchipur, is all set for a solo marathon to spread awareness on Green Manipur and Betty Bachao Betty Parao on March 7. The solo run to be organized under the aegis of District Administration Bisnupur will start from New Mini Secretariat Complex Vishnupur and conclude at Manipur University. Sri Lanka won the toss and elected to bet first against India at Junction Oval in Melbourne. India became the first side to sell through to the knockout stages after securing wins against host and defending champions Australia as well as Bangladesh and New Zealand in the first week of the tournament. A victory over Sri Lanka would see India top Group A and head into the semi-finals high on confidence. Novak Djokovic of Serbia saved three match points before defeating Gelman Fils 2-6, 7-6, 6-1 to reach the Dubai Championship final yesterday. It was the 17th win of the season for the world number one and a 17th career win over Frenchman Monfils without a loss. <laughs> <laughs>